is furious. Final test. Let's see if everything is working as it should. videos I haven't been so successful with the tinkering I've done in the carburetor. I've opened it up to clean the jets but when I put everything together the car wasn't starting. I tried to do a couple things some relevant some not so much like um, replacing the fuel filters, cleaning and replacing the um, fuel pump gasket checking if the spark plugs somehow were full of petrol, you know, and burnt petrol. The main issue I discovered is that I've glued back the float that was broken inside one of the balls in the carburetor, but somehow it wasn't going up and down as it should. Um, it was probably against the wall of the valve. So I decided to remove that float again and the car was up and running. Not very well, uh, we have to say that. And it's dangerous because <coughs> fuel would flow out of the carburetor without anything to mark its level. But it was enough to get the car to the garage. They had a go at fixing the angle and uh, the float inside the ball. But the middle gasket was torn and they didn't tell me that at the point. They probably didn't think it would be a problem. So, after several weeks, the car was supposedly ready, but it wasn't running as it should. It was idling like rubbish, and there was a bit of an hesitation. I thought that was all that was wrong with the car. When I tried to use all throttle to maintain speed going uphill, really wasn't responding to it and unless I gave it a little less uh, petrol it would eventually stall. Now imagine me trying to negotiate two big hills on the way back when I finally decided that no I couldn't take this car anywhere like that but eventually I was able to get the car back to the garage and obviously I, I complained and I thought it would, it would be just that gasket. So I ordered a set of gaskets for this carburetor, which is a Solex 3245TACIC, uh, I think that's it. A rare carburetor, but there were some 
some gasket sets available on, e on eBay. And a week later, I had it on my mailbox. So I went to the garage and I gave it to them. Two weeks after this, the car was still not running properly and it was still doing exactly the same. After a couple tests on the road, we finally figured why. We, I must say, my mechanic. A couple months ago, I replaced the fuel hoses. And it seems that I have mistakenly <coughs> put the return line in the place of the, the inlet. How is this possible, you ask? I have an explanation, I'm not sure it's the right one, but it makes some sense. I didn't notice a difference in the way the car was running because the mixture was really rich. The carburetor was completely out of setting, out of tune. Uh, and there was so much petrol coming in that it probably didn't make a lot of a difference. All this sounds a bit strange, but what really matters to me is that now I can negotiate the hill uh, without the car bogging down. And actually this doesn't happen, or this didn't happen, only when going uphill. But since this car isn't particularly powerful, I would have to give it the bins going uphill. And that's how I noticed that problem. And that's why I didn't notice it immediately. So you can replicate that by just really going hard uh, on the straight. It's not related to the incline. As you can see, as I'm going to demonstrate, there isn't an issue now. And I'm also pleased to say that it never went as well as now. Because since the gaskets and all the O-rings have been replaced, um, <coughs> My mechanic has been able to turn the carburetor as it should. Oh yes. those days I don't really feel like shooting a video and I don't feel like I am actually able to say anything relevant but since I just picked it up from the garage I figured I have to do it 